Hey, so you're interested in building a future-proof gaming PC? Or in general, a workstation or gaming desktop or whatever you want to build? Well, you came to the right video. So today I will be sh explaining the parts I chose from my entire computer to ensure it's going to be future-proof because I'm not one of those guys that have thousands of dollars just laying around ready to buy the brand new 2080 Ti oh. no no I'm not one of those guys so anyways let's start with the main piece of the whole board the motherboard no not the CPU it's the motherboard it's the thing that you want to have upgradability so this is actually x470 motherboard so it supports AMD Ryzen 1 2 and 3 what I mean is like 1000, 2000, 3000 series. If you have the extra money, I would go with the X570 because it actually has PCI Express 4.0. This one just has 3.0, but I know in the future, graphics cards aren't going to need that much bandwidth. So we do not need to get an X570. Anyways, um, CPU. I have a Ryzen. 1700X. I chose the Ryzen 7 1700X as a temporary CPU for the Ryzen 9 3900X because it's really expensive right now and I can't afford that. And I can afford the Ryzen 7 1700X. has 8 cores, 16 threads, the cheapest 8 core AMD has to offer. And I'd really need to do video editing and all that. And I also like that it includes RGB lights, so that's dope. And the RAM. Make sure your motherboard is four slot, so you can't really see the slots, but there are four. And so I suggest you not to buy mini ITX boards because they only have two. Anyways, my board has two or four slots. I'm only using two because right now I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I know that in the future I'm probably gonna upgrade 64 if I actually like start video editing hard every day. So this is also a motivation for me to start making videos, not just on YouTube, but like films and stuff. So, yeah. And the power supply, it doesn't really matter what you get. It just has to be like 500 watts at least. So I went with an EVGA. You can't really see what it is. Anyways, it's a, I think, 80 plus platinum. Yeah, I don't know, 650 watts because I know that things are going to get more and more power efficient in the future. And you don't really need to get some like 1200 watt power supply, or but yeah. And fans, as you have some like generic fans, you can't really see them that well, but yeah, just generic ones. And the graphics card this is actually a reference RX 480. The reason I picked this instead of like a 590, 470, R9 390X, or whatever, is because. It actually is pretty power efficient. It, I believe it's the most power efficient card like right now at AMD. But I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But yeah. Anyway, guys. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. So right now I don't have it installed. But I have a Wi-Fi 6 PCI Express Wi-Fi adapter coming. And I got that for $50. And by the way, I will list all the parts and how much they cost in the description if you want reference. And as usual, I got the NZXT case. I removed the side panel, so there won't be any glare. But yeah, so actually has USB-C. Same with the motherboard. Because in order to future-proof it, you're going to need all the latest ports and stuff. So it has USB 3.0. One Gen 2, I believe, yeah. Also have an SD card slot, pretty cheap, like $1 one, but yeah, still better than nothing. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the description. I will answer pretty much immediately. Because, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the storage. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Storage, M.2, heatsink is actually covering it, but I have Savant Rocket, one terabyte NVMe. I suggest you guys do not buy a SSD or hard drive. I mean, if you want to, you can buy it. I prefer NVMe drives as they do not need any wires or anything like that.
and they just hide in your build, less cable management to do, and also they're freaking fast, so that's going to be the future. Anyway guys, peace out.